Hello and welcome back to another cutting lesson with Miss Heinz. So as you know, for these activities, we're always gonna need some paper, our scissors, and a marker to draw on those lines. So our first step, for today we're gonna do something a little different today. Instead of us folding the paper in half, we're gonna keep it as a whole piece of paper and Miss Heinz is gonna use her marker and draw on some more curvy lines, but this time, it's gonna be an even deeper curve because remember you are supposed to be practicing every single day how to cut along those curvy lines. So I'm gonna make them even longer now. So I'm gonna start from up here and I'm gonna make them nice and curvy. Oh, wow. Maybe I'll do one short. How about a medium length one, so just a little taller. This one's gonna go all the way to the end of the page. All right, I've got four curvy lines to cut on. So remember, scissor safety. If you're holding your scissors and walking with it, you take your hand, wrap it around the blades and you hold it down at your side. You don't hold it in front of you like this, okay? That's not safe. Then when you're ready to cut, we need our thumb, pointer finger, and our middle finger for cutting. So we are gonna put those two fingers in the bottom space and the thumb goes on top. Remember, he has to be looking at you. He can't be looking at the ground. Your thumb has to be looking at you. All right, now remember for cutting the curvy lines, we're not doing this action. We're not doing that. Remember, we have to open his mouth just like an alligator or a crocodile would, and we're gonna slowly turn the scissors along the line and close it. See how slowly I'm going? Oh my goodness. That's how you have to open and close your scissors when you're cutting on the curvy lines. So I've opened my scissors and I'm gonna line it up on this line. All right, do you see? Now I'm ready to cut, so I'm gonna slowly start to close my blades. And do you see how I'm turning my paper and my scissors at the same time? Open it again and move it forward. Close it slowly and turn that paper. Open it again and move those scissors forward. Turn the paper and the blades. Keep going. You see how slowly Miss Hines is cutting her paper? I'm not doing it super duper fast. Would that be safe if I was cutting super duper fast? I don't think so. My, my fingers might get cut. And that would cause me to cry. Woo! I thought I was gonna get tricked there with that one, but that went really well. So remember, we move our hand here now, we're holding it at the side. I'm gonna see if I can cut this short line. But these curves, oh my goodness. Open those scissors, line it up on that line, slowly close and turn the scissors and the blades. Remember, we want to follow that line. We don't wanna go off the line, do we? Keep going. Turn that scissors and that paper. Ooh, that one was nice. Easy peasy Japanesey lemon squeezy. All right, next one, the medium. Oh boy. Okay, remember, slowly close those blades. Open them again and move them forward. Keep going, we're almost finished. This last line I think is gonna be really tricky because we have to cut all the way to the end of the paper, which means we're cutting it off. Oh my goodness. All right, so I've done my first three cuts. Looking pretty good. Let's see if I can do the last one. Open those blades, line them up, close them slowly. Right, take your time. 
Remember for this one, we're cutting it all the way to the end of that line. Oh, we're almost there. Almost there. Oh my goodness. Woo. There we go. All finished. That was so easy. Remember, continue practicing every single day and send me videos or pictures of your finished work so I can see what a wonderful job you're doing. All right, I'll see you next time for some more cutting activities. Bye.